So with a name like Kingdom Key 23, you expect me to be yammering about all the new footage we've got recently for Kingdom Hearts 3, right? Well, too bad. I'm gonna be raving on about Doom Eternal. Its gameplay footage was shown off a few weeks ago at QuakeCon. Now, I love the 2016 reboot of Doom. In my opinion, it captured the high adrenaline rush of the original while adding its own unique flair. It wasn't a perfect game. There were moments where it felt a bit slow, and the level design became formulaic. Enter a room, fight a horde of demons, rinse, repeat, rip and tear. Still, it was a blast to play, and from what I've seen of the footage for Doom Eternal, it is shaping up to be even better. First of all, the game seems to play much faster. The introduction of the Super Shotgun's meat hook adds a whole new dynamic to the game. For me, it was one of the highlights. Swinging around the stage and blasting demons looks amazing, and I bet it will feel amazing to play around with. Also introduced is a dash move, which can be used sparingly. Again, this opens up new possibilities for excellent demon fights, and it greatly increases the speed over the first game. Second, the game is stunning to look at. Running on the id Tech 7 engine, Doom Eternal displays nightmarish atrocities overrunning Earth, and even has a fair bit of Lovecraftian inspiration. From the artwork shown off, the new locales we'll be visiting show promise visually and creatively, and the colors are a lot more vibrant compared to the constant use of red tint in Doom 2016. Some people might be turned off by the overuse of color, it does make the game appear a bit more cartoony, but for me it makes everything pop out more. Of course, like the last game, there will be a lot more lore to explore, which I'm excited about. Doom 2016, through collectible items, revealed a fascinating storyline surrounding the worlds and characters. Doom Eternal seems to be doing that too, plus more. My favorite scene is the Doom Slayer interacting with other people. Not only is it hilarious to watch, but it does give the Slayer a sense of wonder and terror. Through very little dialogue we can see what is running through the people's minds as the Slayer walks down the halls. And for fans of the original like myself, there is plenty of fan service to go around, including the classic plasma rifle design. Cannot wait to get my hands on that bad boy. The invasion mode sounds pretty neat too. Glad that it's an optional feature. It'll add another layer of depth to the experience. There is a traditional player versus player mode in the works, but it's being done in-house this time. Thank God. Looking forward to giving it a whirl. And that's pretty much it. Its software is giving it their all when it comes to Doom Eternal. So far it looks great, and I'm hopeful that the final product will be sensational. No release date has been announced yet, which makes me sad, but hey, I don't want a rushed game. Great games take time and effort. Looking forward to ripping and tearing again. What did you think of the Doom Eternal gameplay reveal? Liked it? Hated it? Let me know in the comments below. Till next time!